In this video, we're going to learn what settings we should have for our assessment. We are currently in our course College Algebra by Lumen Learning. We are going to scroll down to Exam 1. We will select the gear icon and select Settings. A new window appears and we will scroll down towards the bottom of the page. This assessment is currently shown by dates. We have the ability to determine when this assessment will begin to be visible to our students as well as when it will end being visible to our students. If we favor a more manual option, we can hide this exam and it will be visible to our students when we manually change the setting. We can select a due date for our students. We have the option to keep this assessment visible for students for ungraded practice after that due date. As we keep scrolling down the web page, we see the Core Options tab. Inside this tab is the Display Style Settings. This setting can be changed with the drop-down menu. If we select Details, a new window appears describing each option. These options are One question at a time. Students will only see one question on the screen but they will have the ability to jump between questions in any order they desire. The next option is all questions at once or in pages. This presents all the questions at once on a single page. It can also give us the option to have our students view a few questions on a single page and have multiple pages for the assessment. The video queued option allows us to have specific questions pop up while students are watching an instructional YouTube video. The last option is a live poll. This requires the student to be in the assessment at the same time as the instructor, and when the instructor opens a question for the student to answer, the results can be viewed live. We will see how some of these display styles look to our students. We will select the display style of one question at a time and select Save Changes at the bottom of the web page. In our new window, we scroll down and enter our Exam 1 assessment. We then select the Start Assessment button. Here we can see that we only see one question at a time, and we have the ability to jump around from question to question using the drop-down menu or using the arrow buttons. We will now go back to modifying our assessment by selecting the gear icon and selecting settings. We will scroll down and change the display style to all questions at once or in pages. We then select the save changes button. We then scroll down and enter our exam one assessment and select start assessment. We can see that all of our questions are shown at once on this page. This would be more beneficial if we had a shorter assessment. If we had a 30 question assessment, this web page would be quite long. We will go back to our settings for exam 1. In most cases, we recommend changing the display setting to one question at a time. This allows the student to be focused on one question at a time. The submission type options allow us to determine if this is a homework style or a quiz style assessment. The homework style allows new versions of individual questions while the quiz style requires the student to retake a whole assessment to receive a new version of it. Because this is an exam, we will select quiz style. Under the versions section, we can determine how many number of times an assessment can be taken and because this is an exam, we will select one here. We notice that if we allow the assessment to be taken two times, more options appear. We have the option to give a penalty per version of the assessment taken by the student. We can also determine if we want to keep our student's best score, last score, or their average score. We can configure our assessment depending on the type of assessment we have and how we want students to retake our assessment. Because this is an exam, we will leave the number of versions to be 1. We have the ability to determine the number of tries a student has on each version of a question and if there is a penalty per try as well. 
Notice how the options change when we select one try versus multiple tries. With multiple tries, we are allowed to give a penalty per try. Because this is an exam, we will select this to be one try per question. On the During Assessment Show Scores drop-down menu, we can choose to show scores to the student on each question immediately. At the end of the assessment, only the total score at the end of the assessment, or show the student no scores at all. We will select no scores at all. Notice that when we select this option, the other drop-down menu disappears for showing the student the answers during the assessment. The students can view their work in the gradebook drop-down menu, which allows us to determine when the students will see their work on the exam. Because this is an exam, we will select after the due date. This will allow all students to take the exam without the potential for the questions to be in the public. We also have the option to determine when students can view their scores in the gradebook. We will select after the assessment version is submitted. This way, our students can get immediate feedback on their exam scores. The next drop-down menu determines if and when students can view the correct answers to the assessment. We will select after the due date to help our students review their exam once all of our students have completed the exam. Under the Additional Display Options tab, we recommend selecting Make Hard to Print, which will add another level of security to the exam. We also can make sure all students receive the same version of questions to have some uniformity to the exam. Under the Time Limit and Access Control tab, we can determine if we want to allow a late pass. Because this is an exam, we will set that to none. We can also set a time limit for the exam, and we will set this to 40 minutes. We are also given the option to allow our students to work past the time limit. We also have the ability to allow the exam to be taken based on the completion of another assessment. This setting is useful if we wanted to make sure a student has completed an assessment with a certain score before we allow them to take another assessment. We will just leave this setting to be no prerequisite. Under the Help and Hints tab, we want to make sure the Hints and Videos options are unchecked. Because this is an exam, we want to make sure our students do not get extra help on the assessment. We want to make sure we leave Show Answer Entry Tips to Yes. This does not give away answers, but rather helps students format their answers to ensure they have inputted their answer in correctly. Under the Grading and Feedback tab, we will leave all these settings to default because they are good settings for an exam. Under the Group Assessment tab, we will also leave this as Not a Group Assessment because this exam is not a group assessment. We then select the Save Changes button. Remember that all these changes we made to the assessment can be changed again at a later date. If we want to see how the students will take the exam, we will go to the top right part of the web page and select Student. We then can select the exam one and see what the exam will be like for our students. We now know what settings to use for our assessments using Lumen Ohm.